I am the teller of stories. Come in. Have a seat. Do you believe in the fairies? Princess Ruby doesn't. But Princess Ruby says, there's no such thing as fairies. So, sit back, relax, and listen to the story. Princess Ruby's stories. There's no such thing as fairies. It was a beautiful day. The sun shone down from a cloudless blue sky and the only wind was a gentle breeze rustling the leaves in the trees. Princess Ruby was sitting in the garden under a large umbrella reading a book. Her mother came out to her bringing a large cooling glass of lemonade. What are you reading today, Ruby? she asked. Ruby replied, it's about fairies, Mum, but it's a bit far-fetched because everyone knows there's no such thing as fairies. I mean, I've never seen one. Have you? No, I've never seen one, Ruby, but that does not mean they don't exist. You have to really believe in something to see it. Well, Mum, Ruby replied, I believe it when I see it. Her mum went back to the castle and Ruby continued reading her book. The warm summer day soon made Ruby relax. Her eyes began to close and the book slid slowly from her fingers to the grass below. Ruby was asleep. She awoke with a start. I thought I heard something, she said to herself. Princess Ruby looked around but couldn't see anything. Then she heard the noise again. It was a strange sound, a sort of buzzing. She looked round again and then looked up and was astounded by what she saw. The buzzing noise was made by the fluttering of the gossamer wings of a fairy. Ruby rubbed her eyes and looked again, but the fairy was still there. Then the fairy spoke to her. It was a very small fairy, but Ruby heard the voice as though it was a normal person. I am Annabelle, princess of the fairies, she said. I heard you tell your mother that you would only believe in fairies if you saw one. Well, here I am. Come with me and I will show you our land, the land of the fairies. She took a small pouch from her pocket, opened it and sprinkled a shower of sparkly dust over her. To Ruby's amazement, she began to shrink, and soon she was the same size as the fairy. Princess Annabelle said, We have to be even smaller to travel to my land. She sprinkled more of the dust, and they both shrank down to a very small size. It's a long way, so we will have to fly, she said, and whistled quietly. At this, a dragonfly appeared. Hop aboard! called Princess Annabelle, and they both climbed onto the back of the dragonfly. The dragonfly flew off, just above the level of the grass, which looked like a forest to Ruby. After a while, the dragonfly settled on the ground, and the fairy said, we will have to get off now and travel the rest of the way on the ground. Once again, she whistled quietly. This time, a large caterpillar came to them, and they climbed aboard. They set off through the long grass towards the fairyland. Ruby was amazed by some of the things she saw. Most of them were about the same size as the caterpillar, bees and ants and ladybirds, but once she saw a rabbit, this seemed enormous to Ruby and rather scary. Don't worry, Princess Annabelle said, none of the animals or insects will hurt a fairy. The only things that may hurt us are humans. We keep out of their way and they can't see us unless they truly believe in the fairies. It wasn't long before they reached the fairy village, and Ruby saw several hut-like houses. There were quite a few fairies here, bustling around, cleaning the steps, hanging out the washing, and talking happily to each other. It was just like any other town. Come on, let's go for a walk outside the village, 
said Princess Annabel, and they walked together out to the edge of a river which ran nearby. Be careful, the banks can be slippery, she told Ruby. They were both enjoying the walk when, suddenly, Ruby's foot slipped on the edge of the river bank and she tumbled down towards the river. As she fell, the sleeve of her dress was torn by a branch of a bush. Help, she cried, help! The water came closer and closer, but then she felt a gentle chopping of her shoulder, and the voice saying, Wake up, Ruby, you're shouting for help. What's wrong? I was dreaming about a fairy's mum, and I was falling into a river. Her mum said, That's because of the book you read before you fell asleep. Don't worry, Mum, Ruby said. I'm fine now, but it was only a dream. She felt the rip in her dress and thought, what was it?